fan of learning journals. I cannot begin to tell you how they can change a learning experience. They can develop it. They can develop the skills. They can develop the learner. And they can really be able to pull the experience together in ways that make it personal. And one of my favorite things about learning journals is that it is learner-centered. However, right now, we're going to just take a moment to look at four different types of learning journals. So the first one is probably one that you're very familiar with. It's kind of an experiential journal. So think of it like field work or a diary or a log. And what this one is, it's going to focus on particular aspects of an experience that's really going to be helpful for you. And within this is it's going to take in the experience. You're going to write down the pieces of the experience. You're going to really record them and look at it. But then you're also going to take in and add in that reflective piece. This is an opportunity to really be able to look at an experience in a way that you can grow from it, use the information, and maybe even apply it to new areas. So let's look at the research journal. This is also a great option. So a research journal is just taking a time to record information that you may be studying or that you may be learning. And you may be interested in knowing how you can use that information in the future. So think of it kind of like a log. One way that I use my research journal is as I am studying particular kinds of learning styles is that I will actually write down different things and the different options and facts that I'm learning into bullet points. But also research journals can be an opportunity for you to look at your work. You may be able to want to focus or coordinate information and you're going to actually look at the information and how you can use it in a different new way or how you can apply it. A research journal is also a phenomenal way or a methodology to be able to use information within a profession. Next, we'll look at that professional journal, right? So building upon that information from that research part of it is we're going to look at how you can use it in professional development. This is a great option for you to be able to look at those career skills. So take some time to really evaluate what gaps you have in your career and where you want to be. Start with an information gap process or an information gap activity write down your goal. Then you're going to write down what you need in order to reach your goal. From there, write down your current state. What is your current state? And now you're going to take a moment to list all the ways you need to grow in order to reach that future state. Then your professional journal is going to be a journey of exploration and of information in order for you to bridge that gap between your current state and your future state. Lastly, we're going to look at a coursework journal. So think of this kind of like a journal that you use within schoolwork or within a classroom. It doesn't have to be just notes. In fact, I think that it's very un productive to just take notes. The best idea is to take some notes, but also then to go back and reflect upon them. You want to look at it and you want to make notes personal to you. So a coursework journal is going to be dedicated to a particular course. For instance, if you are taking a Shakespearean course within college, or maybe you're doing it for your own personal information, you would have a journal dedicated to that exploration of Shakespearean works.